Art Time. Art Time with Mrs. Reed. Today we are reading Mix It Up by Hervé Toulet. It's that time again. Are you ready? Tap that gray spot just a little to see what happens. Tap that. Ooh, there they are, some of the colors. I see yellow, red, blue. Those are the three primary colors. But don't they seem a bit shy? Tap it again. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, here they come. But there are still a few colors missing. Try tapping just one more time. Oh, whoa, finally, they're all here. So now, place your hand on the page and close your eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yes, I've got the magic touch. Let's mix it up. With one finger, here's my finger brush, take a little bit of the blue and just touch the yellow. Rub it gently. Oh, I made green, see? Yellow and blue make green. Now, take a little bit of the red and rub it on the blue, rub, rub, rub. I made purple. Okay. Now try taking some of that yellow and smudging it on the red. Smudge, 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 smudge. Yellow and red will make orange. Great. Can you remember all that? Now let's have some fun. All right. Do you want to go on? Okay. So shake the book really hard. What do you think will happen with yellow and blue? Shake, 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 shake. Yellow and blue will make green. Look at how it marbled and swirled together. Beautiful. If you thought green, you were right. Now, try tilting the book to the right. What do you think will happen? That red is going to mix into that blue. And what do we think it's going to make? Purple. Look at those beautiful purple drips. Now close the book down really hard so the colors squish together. All right, let's try this. Oh, squish. Whoa, orange. Did you think so too? Bravo. If you rub the two colors together really hard, what will happen? Rub, 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 rub. Purple, look at that smudge. You got it. And to turn all of those dots to green, what do you have to do? Oh, I think I might need to smush it together again, just like last time. It worked. Yellow and blue make green. White makes colors lighter. Go ahead, try it. Boop, 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 boop. We can add some white to all these colors and they become, whoops, skipped a page. They become lighter, see? And black makes colors darker. So let's add a little bit of black to all these colors and that'll darken them up a, a bit, make them beautiful. Oh, look at that. Got it? Makes sense, doesn't it? White makes them lighter, black makes them darker. But what about just white and black? If we smush these two pages together, just close the book really quickly. White and black are gonna make gray. This is what will happen. That's it, you got it, all done. Just one more thing. Place your hand on the page and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. <laughs> That is a fun book. All right, friends, get out your paint sets. You are gonna mix it up with me. Remember, watercolor paints are very thirsty. They need lots of water to work, but you also need to use your paintbrush to stir up that water to turn it into a richer colored paint. These paints are also all about working in layers. If you don't like the way your color turned out, then mix in another color with it. Mix it up. 
Use your paints today to explore and experiment and see what new colors you can create. Notice I am only mixing up the paints on my paper. I do not want to get my paint set all mixed up because then I wouldn't really be able to use it to make beautiful paintings anymore. So every time you change to a new color on your paint set, make sure that you rinse off your brush in a water cup first. Continue painting like this, using a variety of different colors to paint different size circles until most of your paper has been filled up. While you're painting, maybe even think about what sort of emotions or feelings those colors that you're painting remind you of. The color pink sort of makes me feel silly and the color yellow makes me feel really cheerful. Red sometimes makes me feel mad, and dark purples make me feel sort of shy. And it's okay if these colors don't give you the same sorts of feelings. It's okay if your emotions make you feel a different sort of color. Once your paper has dried, Use a marker or a pen to start drawing expressive, emotional faces onto your circles. Don't worry about making the faces super realistic. Think of each circle as a little cartoon character and you're mainly focusing on the emotion that that face is showing. Try to have the emotion match the color that you are drawing on. For example, blue is sometimes a sad color, so I decided to make this circle, a really sad looking circle with big sad eyes and teardrops coming down. And if I'm in a yellow mood, I am so cheery and bright, I have the biggest smile. So that's how I decided to draw this big yellow circle right here. Feel free to add extra details to the faces as well, like ears, hair, or even accessories like glasses, hats, earrings, you name it. You're the artist, so have fun with it. I hope you have fun exploring color and making these awesomely expressive faces with me. I can't wait to see your artwork.